For years, Marcus Orban was afraid that the truth would come to light. A talented soccer player, he played with East Germany's national youth team and signed with second division club Erfurt. But in 1993, Orban suddenly ended his career because he was gay. At the end, it was just too hard to keep going. I spent half of my time playing soccer and the other half hiding. I had to control my gestures, my facial expressions, and consider what to say in which situation. I had to force myself to laugh at jokes I didn't like, to avoid attracting attention. Today, Marcus Orban lives in Hamburg and only plays soccer in his free time. Since he ended his career, much has improved for gays and lesbians in Germany. Many prominent people, including top politicians, have come out of the closet. But in competitive sports, few have taken this step. Orban says many people still can't reconcile a fighting spirit with being gay. And politicians don't take showers together or have physical contact. In sport, there's a lot of body contact, especially in team sports. That physical contact has something in common with sex, which is why a completely different sensitivity is required, particularly in team sports. Tanja Walter Ahrens played in the women's Bundesliga until the end of the 1990s, but never made any secret of the fact that she was a lesbian. Today, she's a gym teacher at a school in Berlin and advises the German Soccer Federation on educational issues. She's convinced that homophobia is primarily a problem for male athletes. I think that in this respect, women have it easier because it's not such a big taboo. Many people already expect top female athletes to be lesbian. So when someone says, by the way, I'm lesbian, it's not such a surprise or a big deal. She's simply a lesbian. Whereas with men, it would certainly be different. Especially in soccer. It's the biggest taboo of all. And in the men's Bundesliga, no player has yet been prepared to break this taboo. Even though, statistically speaking, each team could have at least one gay player. They're extremely afraid of the fans. They have this horror scenario that the fans will go crazy and start singing homophobic songs. And they're also afraid of harming their careers. They're not sure whether another club would hire them. The fear of negative reactions appears justified if the responses of these fans at the Berlin Stadium are any indication. What would you say if one of the players came out and said, I'm gay? It'd be strange, no idea, haven't met one yet. Gays don't belong in soccer. I used to play the game myself. The men all get undressed together, walk naked in the showers and so on. As long as he doesn't bother me, I don't care. In professional soccer, I don't think anyone can admit to being gay. They'll have to remain anonymous. It's a big risk for any player who does it. The Sports Committee of the German Parliament is planning a campaign to combat homophobia in sport. But politicians say the players have a responsibility too. It's important to have faces which are there for all to see. People who say, I'm in, I'll stand up for that. It'll be interesting to see if we can find recognizable faces who will agree to take part in this campaign. Good slogans alone aren't enough in this case. Rich or poor, smart or dumb, black or white, here it makes no difference. Germans have witnessed many campaigns to promote greater tolerance in sport, but until now, homosexuality has always been excluded. We demand respect for all players. 
Es wurde immer ganz viel There's always lots of talk about racism having no place in sport or that neo-Nazis mustn't be allowed to use sports to recruit new members. But it's just as important to say homosexuals are welcome. The politicians need to spread this message like they do for other forms of discrimination. Marcus Orban says until then, no player will come out of the closet. A source tells him at least five gay men currently play in the Bundesliga. But Orban believes it's too early for them to come out publicly.